Hi guys, it's Joanna, and today's video is going to be all about how much sunscreen you really need to apply. Now my next video, which I previewed in my Instagram, is going to be a, a review of a bunch of different sunscreens, and here is just a, a quick preview if you didn't see my Instagram post. Um, but I figured before I actually review these sunscreens, it would be good if we could get on kind of a, an even playing field in terms of how much sunscreen we should actually be using for our skin. And I know I have, as have others, uh, kind of said the often used rule of thumb that you should be applying about a quarter teaspoon of sunscreen to your face every day. This is a quarter teaspoon. It is a lot, <laughs> okay? It is not a small amount of sunscreen to put on your face. And I've just kind of lived by that rule of thumb because, you know, I figured whatever, it's probably accurate. But I decided I should actually kind of dig into this a little bit more and see exactly what I should be using. So FYI, the rule of thumb for quarter teaspoon really comes from this idea that uh, sunscreens, the SPF labeling on them, comes from tests and those tests are conducted at about two milligrams per square centimeter. So that is how much sunscreen is being used to achieve the SPFs on your various sunscreen bottles. So I decided to roughly measure exactly how much skin is on my face and therefore calculate how much sunscreen I actually need to apply and if that really is a whole quarter teaspoon. All right, so here's an illustration of my fat face, roughly speaking. <laughs> And yes, I am being self-deprecating, but it is true, I have a big ass head, you guys, so uh, probably for those of you watching, you have smaller faces and smaller heads than I do, so FYI that I'm probably on the higher end of spectrum in terms of the size of my face. Now, roughly, my big face breaks out into these convenient quadrilaterals, <laughs> so I had to recall how to do math here properly, but roughly speaking, these I have two of these quads on the bottom of my face and two of these quads on the top of my face, and this is probably a little bit bigger than act what my face actually is, um, but you know, I was just trying to be a little bit more generous uh, in the calculations just so that I'm more conservative in my estimates. So with the combined area of these quads, I end up with a total area for my face of approximately 416 centimeters squared. So let's just say 400 centimeters because as I said, I was being a bit more generous in my uh, measurements. Uh, so let's just say 400, that's a nice even number. Now with a 400 centimeters squared surface area, that means that I need two milligrams per square centimeter, so that means roughly that I need 800 milligrams of sunscreen to cover my face. 800 milligrams equals 0.8 grams, so basically less than a gram is what I need to cover my face. Now I actually had this scale, and unfortunately I thought the scale was a little bit more precise than what it turns out to be. So I thought you could actually go into the decimals for grams on this, but unfortunately this only measures to the solid gram. So I wasn't able to get to exactly 0.8 grams. However, I was able to kind of just see at what point the scale kind of tipped over from zero to one once I started putting on the sunscreen. And I will just tell you now, all of these sunscreens obviously weigh something a little bit different. Um, there's not, you know, the density of sunscreen obviously contributes to the weight of it. So all of your sunscreen products are going to be roughly uh, a little bit different, but generally speaking, for most of these products that I tested, I only had to fill this up about three-fourths of the way before it tipped the scale over to one gram. So what does that mean? It basically means that I've been putting on too much sunscreen, which is never a bad thing, but just if you wanted to be a little bit more precise about how much sunscreen you need, I would say probably three-fourths of a teaspoon for my big face. That being said, I did also want to call out a product. So this is the Color Science Unforgettable, and I've actually bought this many times. This is actually one of my favorite products for reapplying sunscreen. So as you can see, this is an old one. The lid is already even broken. I've actually gotten refills for this, and this is my third refill, I think. I was also recently sent one for free, so just FYI, this is a product that I actually own and purchased myself, but I also received one for free. Now, this Unforgettable, so this is what kind of was, was shocking to me. You know, 
I never rely on just this product for sunscreen and this is precisely why. So in this package, we have six grams of powder, all right? Recall now that for my fat face, I need about 0.8 grams of coverage. That basically means in one of these products with six grams of powder in here, that I would get 7.5 uses, all right? Six divided by 0.8 is 7.5. Obviously, I don't use that much powder product. And so this is why, for this precise reason, that you cannot rely on products like this or sprays as your main source of sunscreen. I still think this is a great product for reapplication. Like I said, I have used this for many years and you know, it's also good, it's like a little powder. So if you are feeling like you want a little, whatever, powder action, this is a good way to do it and also get some of that sunscreen. But if you are thinking that this is going to be your main source of sunscreen, honey, please let's pass this along and let's just only use this as a, a topper, a little, you know, Top, top it up. So yeah, I still think this is a nice product for reapplication, just touch up throughout the day. But if you truly have sweated off all of your sunscreen, you're gonna wanna reapply with your main sunscreen, okay? Don't rely on something like this just because, like I just tested, I would actually have to apply about one seventh of the powder in here in order to get the coverage of SPF 50 that this says. <laughs> so with that said, that is all I wanted to share with you today. So just FYI for my sunscreen tests that I will be sharing in my next video, I'll be using about three fourths of a quarter teaspoon. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, weekend, week, whatever, whenever you're watching this and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.